So this is the translation booth and they'll be doing simultaneous translation into three different languages, uh, Arabic, French, and English. And on each of uh, the tables there will be microphones and each of the participants will have uh, translation headphones and a different channel that they'll listen to for language. And we will be projecting first in uh, English and in Arabic. And we also have slides in French. And decided just to do two languages. And we may switch to French and Arabic depending on um, uh, reading the group and making sure that uh, we can best accommodate comprehension. And uh, this is an example of what the headsets look like. Um, and they put wear them on their head and there's different channels. And me as the facilitator, if I want interaction, I have to remember to take off the headset if someone switches into English. And I have to remember also to speak very slowly, both during interaction and also when they're translating uh, simultaneously, and to keep um, myself uh, from saying any American jargon uh, and to keep clear simple English. This is uh, the check-in. Each of the participants are getting uh, packages, uh, registration packages that include the materials. Each one is getting um, an immediate bag and in the bag is uh, the notebook. And very interesting, we have notebooks in three different languages, in French, in English, and uh, Arabic. <laughs> And uh, this is the press table. And this is a copy of um, the uh, press releases about the program in both uh, French and Arabic. And the briefing book. Uh, this is Beth Cantor, and I'm here in Morocco at the Immediate Conference, and I'm uh, chatting with the translator team. And this is? Uh, this is Sabir Tarawat, a simultaneous interpreter Great. from and Marrakesh. Right, and you, you'll be translating from... You'll be doing the Arabic to English? I'll be or? doing uh, English from French and from Arabic. Great. And then we have here? Hi, I'm Nadira, conference interpreter, and I'll be doing from Ar English into, from Arabic and French into English mainly. Okay. Good morning, Kautar Himimu, conference interpreter and translator, and I'll be translating from French, uh, English into Arabic. Okay, so I will be speaking English, and who will be translating me? me. Okay, and you'll be translating me? Yes, sometimes. Okay, okay. so tell me, uh, uh, what is some advice you want to give to me so um, it'll make your job easier? Okay, you have to speak uh, at a normal pace. Don't be very quick. Um, um, what else? I mean, it's more about speed. What? Acronyms. Don't use too much acronyms. No, if you use an acronym, just... You, you have to explain it okay. the first time, first then, time and then you go on okay. after. Most probably would know it. And, um, and I should probably try to speak as simply as possible. No. And it doesn't matter. Difficulty does not matter. Just, okay. just speak slowly. Just yeah, speak it's slowly. the pace. And also, if you are moderating the session, just make sure that the participants speak only one at a time, because sometimes it gets chaotic when too many people are speaking at a time, and interpreting back in the booth can translate literally what they're saying. Okay, that's great. Now I do um, a slightly different model sometimes of just straight presentation. I yes. like to interact with the audience. Yes. So, and I'm learning how to do that um, here with different languages. And I did it with two and I'm a little scared about three. <laughs> so sometimes I might wander out to the audience and ask them a question. Yes. And sort of pause mm -hmm. and have them answer in their language. And then I, I l I'll listen to the translation. Yes, you have the headset, and you listen to the translation. And as it is a simultaneous translation, it is as if uh, the uh, participant is answering to you directly. Great. Great. But you hear our voices. Great. Oh, it's and don't, uh, don't worry. I mean, tip. for interactive um, uh, sessions, uh, we have already done that in the past, and we are very interactive. Also, we change our voices so that the participants get the. Uh, um, I mean, the core message and uh, make sure that they interact. Uh, I mean, it's not monotonous. It's, yeah. That's great. Yeah, great. It's interactive. Great. That's great, that for me.
Okay, so you'll do that if I'm talking yeah. too fast. Too fast, that means okay. slow down. Okay. If you and are okay, we're going to do this. Okay, okay. all right. Yes. And any other signal like... Yes, and maybe one last tip would be if you are um, asking the uh, participants to do an exercise, when you are giving the instructions, make sure you repeat them twice. Because usually with exercises, they need the instructions to be repeated at least twice. First, because first time they're just exploring, and it's only the second time that they're digesting the information and would be uh, uh, reacting in consequence. Then, okay? then you Good. move. Then you move to the people who are doing the exercise to make sure that they understood what they are doing, and you right. check on them. What what I'm doing is uh, pulling in the local team, and they're going to also they're going to be at all the tables, and they'll also repeat it too. So, yeah, I had that.